In this video, I'll take you through the steps for replacing the webbing on your TrueBlue IQ or IQ Plus. For this demonstration, I'll be using an IQ Plus, but the procedure is the same for both models. Here's what you're going to need. An Allen key, a shackle pin, and replacement webbing. All of these items are included in your webbing kit. You will also need a flathead screwdriver. Using the screwdriver, carefully remove the nozzle clip from the bottom of the auto belay. Next, pull out the entire webbing, including the short webbing loop at the very end. With the webbing fully extended, use your screwdriver to hold the loop in place and stop the webbing from retracting. Unscrew the shackle pin and remove the old webbing. Every time you change your webbing, it's important to use the new shackle pin that comes in your webbing replacement kit. Fit the loop of the new webbing into the shackle and make sure that the shackle loop is fitted to the webbing loop. Attach the new pin and use your Allen key to hand tighten. Make sure you can see at least one thread of the pin from the outside of the shackle. Remove the screwdriver and allow the webbing to slowly retract. Every few feet, give the webbing a good tug. This makes sure that the webbing stack inside the device is tight and doesn't have any unexpected slippage while someone is climbing. You'll want to repeat that process several times while the webbing is retracting to ensure that the webbing stack is nice and tight. Once the webbing is fully retracted, finish off the process by reattaching the nozzle clip. You can attach the nozzle clip to either the front or the back of the device. That's it. New webbing is installed and your TrueBlue IQ or IQ Plus is ready for climbers.